With several concentration points in Caracas, the Venezuelan people once again filled the streets with a mobilization that highlighted the revolutionary solidarity which has been made invisible by much of the media. Facing a foreign threat, this has been the attitude displayed by citizens. We are Venezuelan, and those of us who are here fighting, it's us who are rejecting the coup that the United States is attempting. They are prepared to continue in the battle for the right to continue living in peace. Venezuela is demonstrating to the world with conscience and with dignity that we want peace for both Venezuela and for the world. Meanwhile, opposition sympathizers gathered in other parts of the city to complain about the issues they face, which are the result of the constant sabotage of the national electricity supply. They claim that there exists a lack of freedom of expression, but these images prove otherwise. We need to live in liberty, and any Venezuelan who wants to protest has the right to go into the streets. They shouldn't be simply grabbed and jailed. Meanwhile, the anti-imperialist mobilization was sustained. The resistance and revolutionary conscience were key to this march. 20 years ago, we arrived with Hugo Chavez. The people began to show strength here for what awaits us. And that relationship is absolutely irreversible. Our people are achieving it today with this resistance to North American imperialism. The Chavismo recognizes who the aggressors are, culpable in the destabilization of Venezuela. They will remain in the streets to defend their self-determination.